Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Like Me and Easy. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can increase your graphics settings on your Xbox One in 2020. If you go, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's shoot for 50 likes on this video. But now a word. This video is sponsored by Vaunt. Their new Spark LED headlamp flashlight it comes with an ultra bright and long lasting light. It comes with seven different uh, modes to toggle through. Um, it has a ergonomic 45 degree tilt for all angles, um, is waterproof, and it comes with a lifetime warranty. Guys, go pick yours up. Links are down in the description. Highly recommend it. Now let's get back into the video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is how you're going to improve your overall graphics quality on your Xbox One. I made a previous video on this, um, but this is going to be going into more detail. Um, as I said, guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and also check out the Like Me Easy podcast if you guys are interested in podcasts. Um, all subscribers to that podcast will receive exclusive shoutouts in my videos. So let's move on to the tutorial. Guys, first thing, go to settings. You can do this from My Games and Apps, or you can just go to the like quick uh, access bar to the left. Um, either one works. Um, next, we're going to go to general, TV, and display options. So here's the first thing I just want to go over. If you guys aren't familiar with how resolution works, it's how many pixels basically um, are in your monitor. Um, and obviously it's going to depend on what resolution your monitor is. So if you have a 1080p monitor, select 1080p. If you have a 4K monitor, I don't know why you would, but those are dope. Um, select 4K. Uh, do not select the lower resolution. The higher resolution, the higher pixel density equals a sharper image. That's basically just how it works. And by the way, pixels don't always tell the full story on how good a... Um, how good picture quality is. Just remember that. Um, you can also go to Calibrate TV. Um, this is if you just want to like mess with like your overall t TV settings. Uh, Xbox allows this just so you can adjust like your overall um, aspect ratio, sharpness, your brightness, all this stuff. Now bear in mind you actually have to change these settings on your TV like with your TV remote. Um, just it just this it gives you like a template of like how to make. Uh, the best possible picture uh, with these templates. So um, obviously you, there's no settings like here that you can adjust it. It all has to be done on your TV and stuff like that. But you can fiddle around with it, see how it works for you, see which lo uh, which looks best. Um, you can also go to video modes. This is basically all dependent upon your monitor specs. So um, basically you want to select as many possible ones that you can select. So the only one I can select since this is a 60 hertz monitor, is allow 50 hertz. Um, that's the highest I can select up to. Uh, but um, a lot, a lot of monitors these days will like have 3D, will allow variable refresh rate and all this stuff. Uh, HDR, Dolby, Dolby Vision is another one that can pop up. Um, it all depends on what specs you have in your monitor. So if you're interested in getting a new monitor, um, you can definitely go pick up one with like HDR and stuff like that, 4K. You, it's all up to you. Um, but I just have a basic monitor, so I don't have many, um, many options to select. So overrides, just keep that on auto detect, to be honest, don't change that. Um, so here we go. We have 24 bits per, <laughs> bits per pixel, 8 bit, 36. You want to select the highest one that's going to give you the best video, video fidelity, as it states there. Um, so for me, I'm going to select 36. I don't know why I had that on. Um, 24 to be honest. I don't know why I'm making my picture look worse, but whatever. And then for color space, I tend to stay away from standard. I like PC RGB. I just think the contrast ratio is slightly better. It's up to you guys. Um, you can determine that for yourself. Uh, so guys, that's going to be it. Um, bear in mind that as these uh, tips help, uh, you can always just go out buy a new monitor, but I understand that um, that's not the purpose of this video. It's how to do this for free on your Xbox One. But just bear in mind, you can always actually go out and buy a better monitor to improve your picture quality or a better TV. But uh, with big 4K TVs these days, you're going to have to deal with input lag and stuff like that. So, guys, if you enjoyed it, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. And uh, as always, go check out the Like Me Easy podcast and Gaming Me Easy, my second channel linked in the description down below if you be, would be so inclined. Uh, Shoutouts will be received for those who subscribe to the podcast. And check it out on iTunes and all available podcasting services. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh